It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I'm still Chick McGee. Hi, how are you? There's Christy Lee. Hi, everybody. At the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Pat Godwin at the Oxford Gold Group Performance Room. Hi, Chick McGee. Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer Sidekick Chair. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes. And there's Ace Cosby. Hello. And there's uh, Willie Griswold. Hey, man. Ah, the NFL has finally... Our long national nightmare is over. The NFL starts Tuesday night. Uh, Tonight? Man, or Thursday yeah. night. Oh. I knew it started with a T. <laughs> Thursday night, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers host the Dallas Cowboys. Your line, Willie? Uh, I think the Bucs are going to win. I don't know what it's set at, though. Cowboys getting eight. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. In Tampa Bay. That's more than a touchdown. Is that a sucker bet? Yeah. Give him a tutty and two, man. Yeah, tutty. A tutty. That's right. A tutty you like that? Two. Tutty and two. Yeah. I like what that. What does that Very mean? Much. A touchdown plus the two points. So that's yeah, eight, eight points. Ah. Your chick really got a kick out I of it. I really got a kick out of it. First of all, I'm a big advocate of the word tutty. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I love it. I love it. I thought it meant something else. Tutty? Yeah. Uh, it does sound a little dirty. Get, oh, that's a tucky. Yeah. If you get a tucky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of that, that I thought goes it was back, a turdy. No, a turdy. Oh, yeah, Teddy Tud Teddy, yes. was uh, the, uh, the mascot of a place. Didn't Tom... Uh, Teddy s- Tud was stores? the mascot yeah. of the yeah, water treatment plant. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, no, uh, and, but uh, uh, a tuggy gets right. us back to the greatest punchline in the history of the world. Oh, that's right. Well, I've always been a fan, too, of, like, a, a movies or TV shows where the scene uh, yes. starts and somebody's telling a punch. Uh, uh, that, that, well, that doesn't matter. The, we've, we have the room all night. And everybody laughs hard. <laughs> yeah. or, I don't know how big this thing gets. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, yes. Right. Well, so like, but Pasta, that's not my dog. That's my mother-in-law. Like that Exactly. Kind of yep. yep. So Chick and I were in the green room of the the Liberty Township Funny Bone, and we and uh, the you could hear the act on stage. The at this point it was the MC over yes. the speakers in the in the green room. Right, right. And but we're talking and we're not listening to the setup, but we just hear. It gets quiet and we hear a punchline and our eyes lit up and we both went, "All right, that's whatever that is. That's very funny." <laughs> the guy says, and you're going to have to. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, that, what I'm going to tell you, and then you do the math, and you're going to laugh as hard as we did. Uh, I said, I so I said, yeah, that's like an HJ in a welding class. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. <laughs> help, help me here. He goes, yeah, and then you're getting an HJ in welding class, <laughs> and we both we don't know what it means. <laughs> we have no idea. Although when someone says welding class, think- I see somebody in big gloves. Yeah, yeah, and yeah and already. A yes, and a helmet. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, Chick's eyes, he looked at me and goes, now that's a funny punchline. Go, you, you are totally right. And they got these giant gloves on and... And we laughed and uh, laughed. I guess you I guess you had to be there. And he didn't but say H.J. He yeah. said the full, yeah. Right. yeah he used the yeah. word hand. Right, right. If I say it, job, yeah. right. uh, I don't want kids to burst into flames. Sure. So yeah, you know how it Nobody works. wants that. <laughs> no. So whatever that means, whatever that is... You're well done. <laughs> Whatever the setup was to that. You didn't ask the guy when he got off stage? I don't want to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, found him, I found him difficult to talk to. But, um, that's not his fault. I'm sure that's on me. That's fine. That's on me. No problem. Very no nice problem at all. young man. Uh-huh. Uh, we had a big weekend of college football out there, kids. And uh, the Indiana Hoosiers football team unexpectedly lost and lost big to the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes. Mm-hmm. I believe the uh, final score was something like 34 to six or something. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a shame for anybody that would have bet on Indiana on that game. No. I mean, what idiot would have put money? That's me. I put about 25 bucks on Indiana to win Sorry, that game. Sorry, Willie. Number 18, Iowa. Number 17, Indiana. Or maybe it should be Indinia. Yes, that's right. Um, the running back, David Hoffman for the Indiana Hoosiers, number 33, somehow had Indiana misspelled on the front of his jersey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Indina. Indinia. <laughs> that is Indinia, all right. <laughs> but in, in to his, uh, I, I certainly don't like this uh, this uh, sort of confidence. He tw- David, the running, tweeted it out and said, my my family and, and all my friends are going to have fun like, fun of for this for years to come. Sure. Picture of me in this jer- the in, Indinia jersey. Chick, that's not the only major misspelling that occurred over the weekend. Uh-oh. Oh, what else goodness. happened? 
Well, as we all know, that I'm uh, next weekend. I'm returning to the Toledo Funny Bone. Correct. Or the uh, oh, sweet baby Jesus, it's returned oh, it's, to Toledo. Yes, yeah. yeah. The we... Redemption Tour. Uh huh. Well, they are promoting the show, and you can go see next weekend at the Toledo Funny Bone. Oh no, Mr. John Arnold. Oh, well, John, what is funny? <laughs> John. John's great. Oh. This isn't my brother, John. It's that's oh. that's J O N. There this is, is a, oh. yeah, there is a John Arnold. Yeah, this yeah. is J O H N Arnold. Oh. Uh, ah. Yes, yeah, so they're really so, pushing John Arnold shows <laughs> at the Toledo Funny Bone next weekend. Well. So one of three things happen. It was simply a mistake. Okay. Simply yep. a mistake. Right. Secondly, uh they realized <laughs> what happened last year. <laughs> the footprint of your last <laughs> It's so gigantic, they'll never be able to sell tickets if right. they put up your name. Right. So, yeah. Although they are using my photo. Oh, oh they are. Yes. There's an extra layer to this thing. Wow, there is. Or they there did might... it on purpose. If, if they did it on purpose because of the whole, that yep. is, that's absolute brilliance. There's no way. They did it because they, they simply don't know who I am. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, yeah. Christy Lee at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Yep, present. And there she is. Sort of. <laughs> Pat Godwin. It's that kind of morning, isn't it? Yeah. Feels like a Monday. Feels like a Monday. Uh, there's Pat Godwin, the Oxford Gold Group Performance Pavilion. Hey, everybody. There's Josh Arnold. <laughs> what the hell was that? At the high I hate know. Steven Singer sidekick chair. That's right. I think Pat's just matching the mood of the music. Yeah. It's it's kind of jazzy. Good, good stuff. Kit. Lord, I'm down. Sexy. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Manning the track phone hotline. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the, uh, oh, hey, Willie. Hey, Chick. Jess Hooker is here. Hi, Jess. Hi. Did Jess. you miss the baguette joke from the zoo? Did you miss, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear You know what, just by what you're telling me, I think I'm okay. Oh, it's okay it's a, I, I think it's a good one. Really? It's, a good one, it's one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. One of your favorites. It, it's in my top five. Seriously. Of Ace Cosby Let's jokes of the day. Right here. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, Ace, so this would be your cue. Ace, that yes. would be your cue to go. Oh, <laughs> the deep voice. Hey, the time. Here he is with his, his joke of the day. Jess, did you know they have a, a baguette at the zoo? I didn't. Yeah, it was bread in captivity. That was Ace. I like I like that. Bread yeah. in captivity. Yeah. Very yeah. funny. That's you know, fun. I, think, I think the best you can hope for is someone smiling and looking at the sky. Yeah. You say that. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's fun. That's yeah, fun. Okay. Sure. It is a good, right. I think it's great. I like Josh. Josh defended his position. Bread in captivity. Very funny. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to get us all on board. Yeah, what are you, his hype man? Jeez. <laughs> oh, you know, if I don't care for it, I'll let him know. Uh, but I love that yeah, one. I know you and your ways and your snake owning. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom <laughs> Show. Hey, fellas. Hi, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. Floyd. Uh, I've enjoyed your baguette program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been nice. What I like to do is put them in the microwave first, you know, soften them up like we do with uh, Chips Ahoy, regular. <laughs> if you cook them too long, boy, it get too hot to sting the fool out of you. Yeah. Sure, sure. I believe I'd be talking about cured meats, too. Yeah. 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 National Salami I think I'll speak for us all when I say not much beats a good pepper loaf. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a fan, huh? Good eating. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but I had to call when I heard Christy was ripping ass again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All morning with this. All yeah. morning with all this. All morning she's doing it's this. Been awful. You know, it's one thing to do it, Christy, but it's another to brag about it. But <laughs> I think the worst is when somebody lets one in an elevator. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Her worst yet in an airplane. <laughs> yes. Only flew one time in my life, and I'll never fly again on account of it. Oh, really? And somebody let one in, boy, I was praying the oxygen mask would come down on the wrong. But yeah. yeah. Not to say it was bad, but when we finally landed and got to the gate, we were met by grief counselors. <laughs> Something died up there, yeah. Uh, Boy, look at that. You can tell the leaves are about to change again on the counter. Already selling firewood at the gas station. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's an yeah, indicator. Yeah. Sign of the season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, leaves, are, leaves are changing. Leaves, leaves are, are folksy, changing. man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, earlier today, evidently, Josh decided that it was okay to not be in the studio. He keeps, yes. he keeps pointing this out. He, you went... How far? Five feet? Out into the hallway. And you had some sort of problem, and Ace, you said it was what? Sounded like moving furniture. <laughs> and it was um, 
uh, it was a, a pleasing sound. But how, anyway. long, but how long did you stay in the spot until you moved? Not long no, enough. Okay. Well, then, right back yeah, in you here. got you got to count, count to ten. You got to count to ten, and then you can walk away. This is new. Now Willie had the uh, you're cutting it off with your hand. I've always heard that. Oh really? Yeah, it's yeah, a I'm classic not doing cut that. off. Yeah, no, no, it's a classic cut off. I know. I'm not doing it. You, you know what you do is you kind of do a cutoff in a pivot step. Like you like you, you got the ball, you dribbled twice, and you got to pivot. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I should have done was gone deeper into the hall. Or outside. <laughs> well, I honestly, I thought about going outside, but Willie was out on the porch, and I didn't oh. want to be rude. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, the person so that would have... So the the person, one person... And the person that would have loved... So if you would have yes. walked outside and farted and said, hey, I would have died laughing. Be, I would have thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I, you know what? And I made a mistake. A lot of air <laughs> moving. Not like the three of us just sitting in here. I, you know, I, had I known Willie would have responded positively, I would. I should have done that. That would have been... So you've been on the show for five years, right? Yeah, uh-huh. I think five years, that's a long time to wait to fart in front of people that you love. Well, this isn't the first time he's done oh, No, okay. I, 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 oh, I, I, okay. The green room and stuff like that, yeah. Oh, no, I walked All into right. the green oh, yeah. room, My and bad. he goes, you don't want to come in here. And then I hear moving furniture, and then I... Uh, yeah, that was just last week. And then he looks at me and goes, I'm a monster. <laughs> Sidekick chair. Is it? Yes. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> There's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. There's Jessica Alsman. Hello. And back to Christy. So why do they call it the sidekick chair anyway? Uh, Tom yeah. decided that, uh, I, that I needed... Uh, I didn't mean that. You know how Tom must... Somebody has to be labeled. Right, right. He decided he I had to have the label sidekick. And it, I think it's fitting. I answered... I asked the question incorrectly. What does... How did this term sidekick come about? To kick somebody in the side to make them funnier, or it's like a motorcycle thing. I think so. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Like the sidecar. What's wrong with you? I mean, I know I ruined the last break right at the end, but you're going to ruin this one right at the start. Is that where did sidekick from? Anything, Josh? Uh, the etymology of uh, sidekick? Sidekick. It doesn't. Eh, I, I just. I, I, I could look it up. <coughs> Joey Bishop. Boy, I'm choking <laughs> on uh, how silly all this. Ed McMahon, of course. Well, of course. Ed, Ed McMahon's McMahon. actual name is sidekick. Yep. Is Middle it? name. Instead of needing a kickstand, you added that sidecar, so it became your sidekick on a motorcycle. Or maybe. I don't maybe. Know. Yeah, that actually kind of maybe seems that could pretty be legit Who knows? to me. Bo has written in. Yes, yeah. hi, Bo. He says, good morning, Stooges and Stoojets. Yes. Oh, that's us. Awesome. I'm from Alexandria, Indiana. And very <laughs> oh, excited God. for hey, flute man. man Greg Warren and John Arnold. Going to be in To be performing at the Alex Theater Saturday, Saturday night. September 11th. Yes. Man, oh, man. Thank you very much, uh, Bo. If, you're, uh, if you don't know what that... The Toledo Funny Bone is advertising that John Arnold will be there next weekend. Yeah. But Hilarious. in reality, it's me. You know, I don't see why you're so upset about this, John. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> well, it's Josh. It's, oh, uh, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you changed it to John. Do you have a brother named John? I do. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. Will he be there? He's Jonathan uh, will not guy. be there. Yeah, no. no. Jonathan and Larry Arnold. Is he funny? Very. All my brothers are funny. Yeah. Oh, you should do an time. Arnold brother show. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call it? What would you call it? Um, leaving your, uh, I'd call it Honey, Get Your Coat. <laughs> you can, with a bunch, of, with a bunch of jackals up on stage farting. Oh, yeah. And flipping yeah. each other's ears. Oh, oh yeah. Slinging fishing lures at each other. Oh, can we boy. do one day, if we have like a three day week or something weird, where just every day we have a different one of your brothers come oh, sit in for fun. you? And then no! in the last hour, at nine, Josh is allowed to come back and say the lies they told. <laughs> He's allowed to say when the fish was this big instead of this big in the stories. Or which brother was better, which one was funnier or did better on the air. Oh, yeah. 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 I've got my money on Joey Wednesdays. I don't know him, but I love that name, man. Yeah. Joey Wednesday is going to, he'll talk a lot. <laughs> you, you, look, you, you get him going. He's going to, and yeah. he's going to ask Dean about Joey Wednesday. Dean's, uh, uh, Joey Wednesday will occasionally leave messages on Dean's answering machine. And really? uh, they <laughs> are usually, right? oh, let's see, what are some of the words? Uh, indecipherable. Uh, <laughs> Uh, erratic. <laughs> okay, I had no idea. Yeah, he likes All to right. get uh, drunk and call the uh, hotline. Oh, my day. God. <laughs> we got to hear some of those. We got to hear one of those. Yeah. Uh, he, I don't even know if they're, like, Dean said, Could we, should we play this? And I, I don't think we can. Why uh, couldn't we? And here's call another us. thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, uh, yeah. Sounds my like David. Brother, I, I heard die. Tom say this. And then it's some reference. I, I just don't, you just, we wouldn't know what he was talking about. 
Hmm. And I love him, but uh, yeah, he'll go on some rants. Speaking of boys. Yes. A New Jersey teen has constructed a robotic arm for his friend. <laughs> Wait a minute. I teased this as the wrong way the other, because I said it was f as his. You friend. never tease the wrong way, baby. Yes, yeah. I I right. Right. <laughs> it felt weird in my ear. <laughs> so now I can't even do this story because it's too often. No, let me do it. No, 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 no. It really, trust me on this. May I see it? Trust I'm not going to read it, I promise. Trust me. I think because I know what we, it is. We He's said just... we did, we made fun of him. Oh. As oh, no, we're his fine. Friend. We're fine. The scarf matches your eyes. <laughs> this is a nice story. <laughs> Charlie Callis, huh? Hi, everybody. Bob and Tom. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. I've often dreamed of having a radio show that wake me up and pep me up as I'm as I'm going to work in the morning. Sure. <laughs> there, I haven't found that yet. There's 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 nothing. <laughs> nothing. Just it's just up to me to cheer myself up. How's that going? I think we all know how that goes. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi, Chick. It's the Bob and Tom Show, kids. Good morning. I'll cheer you up. Welcome back. Shut up. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Hi, Chick. How's it going over there, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about you? Yeah, you we're good. The thumb? Oh, all we right. got the okay. thumb. Okay. Hey Thumbs there. Up. Hey there, Josh. Arnold. Hey, Chick. I got a story about Josh coming up. Uh oh. Oh yeah. You're gonna not be happy. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hey, Ace. Chick. You're gonna not be happy. I'm going to talk in fragment sentences all day. Love that. Yeah, I said that backwards. Hi, Willie. Hey, Chick. Uh, so I'm. Uh, I, I, we get off the. Uh, we, you know, we get out. We check out of the factory here. We. <laughs> I run. Uh, I run to Kroger, and you guys know where I go to Kroger. Mm -hmm. uh, where the savings never stop. Savings never stop. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm walking into the uh, parking lot, and honest to gosh, this never happens. Sometimes it does. As I'm in the parking lot, I hear, Jake, 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 Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and from behind me, this gentleman, very nice gentleman, put it in his cart away. Hey, Jake, how you doing? I go, hey, how you doing, sir? And I wave, honestly. I yeah. don't go, you know, leave me alone. What are you doing? I sure. go, hey, how's it going? Nice guy. So I walk into Kroger, and I do my business, and I get my groceries, and... Uh, I go to the, as I'm going to the checkout, self-checkout, which rocks, mm. I, uh, <clears throat> another gentleman walks up to me and he goes, you're funnier than Josh, and walks right back, <laughs> oh. right, right past me. All right. Just right past me. Very I nice. Thought, I thought, I'm going to have to remember this for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> totally unprompted. Didn't say hi. I would have to agree with him. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Certainly that's the case, but. Uh, Is there a competition? <laughs> Oh, no, well, but uh, of course there's a competent. No, there's I find Chick funnier than uh, I find myself. So I find yeah. uh, I find Josh funnier than I. If I had to rate, uh, rate the funny people in the room, let me think. Hey man, I don't get to brag, but I I get paid to be the sixth funniest person on this show. All right, I'm putting in work. <laughs> and over I don't here. get paid at all, so leave me out of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Here oh, boy. we go. Here we go. Uh, can you guys? Uh, I have a, sh a shopping story to lead us off this morning. Go. Uh, Whole Foods, have you heard what they're doing? No, I have no. not. They're, they're opening two new stores, one in D.C. and one in Sherman Oaks, California. Totally cashierless. You just take all the stuff you need and go to your car, and it scans sensors and cameras, track what you pull off the shelf, and it just charges your account, your Amazon account. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. This could be the future. I like that. Well, we knew this was coming, didn't we, kids? Uh -huh. It'd be yeah. like shoplifting every day. It would be exciting. Would yeah. You get well, yeah, but, you know, you set up your account. It's not. I've shoplifted. It's not. There's nothing quite <laughs> There's nothing quite like the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> that, that can't be replicated. Can uh, it? It can't okay. be. No, the, the rush you get when you get out to yeah, the car yeah, and you, yeah, get, I you, guess know, you, still you reach down your pants <laughs> and you, you got that zucchini and all that stuff. That on. sausage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sausage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I always thought they would just, uh, you'd be able to put it, well, maybe that's what they've done. You just roll your cart out and the cart, somehow they know what's in your cart as you go past the sensor. But you say there's No, they're be using cameras and sensors, cameras so I'm sure that's the same thing. Yeah. Sensors through the whole store. Oh. Ro robots all over the place. Robots? Mm-hmm. Is that where we're going to go? A bunch of robots. <laughs> What if I pick up milk and then I decide that I don't want it later in the bread aisle, so I set it down in the bread aisle? Well, is, then, is, is Amazon uh, going to know that? Will they well, maybe it you out? should put it back where you got it. And you'll be attacked by a robot. I don't work at the grocery store. There's a guy that puts the milk back by the bread aisle. 
That's yeah. really? Man, you don't do that? The, man, no. That's the best thing. Particularly oh, if it's no, milk. No, no, no. no, I was exaggerating. No, 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 no. I'll put Actually, milk, if it's milk. I'll put milk back in the refrigerator, but you won't grab fruit roll-ups and put them where the cereal is? Absolutely. This is the best thing about grocery shopping. I, if you change you your mind... You guys are heathens. Shut up. <laughs> if you change your mind, you can put it back on any shelf. No. It, no it's no. like Thunderdome in the grocery store. Uh, they know it. I, I usually go put it back. I do, too. You're both not telling the truth. Yes, no, I'm not. I, I, I would tell you the, the truth. Yeah. Now, have, has there been a time where I haven't? Yes. Let me but I usually you. put it back. Have you gotten a, how full? How? What's the most full you've gotten a cart and just decided? <laughs> uh, I don't want to do this uh, today. I'm not going to. I'm going home. <laughs> just leave the cart and walk I've out. That. That, I've done that. Oh, okay. I have not. I have I've never seen done somebody that. and ran. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> or you've seen somebody in the store you don't want to yep. say hi to. Oh, yeah. Let's Yikes. say you've seen a Christy Lena story. I, I don't have this right no. now. Uh, I don't uh, care. You can. You, uh, you saved no, that, me, I, actually. I got a good one. <laughs> good for you, Christy. Well, in the same world, what is the most, the biggest meal you've gotten at a fast food restaurant after buying healthy food at the grocery store? Oh, on the way home, you go to the drive thru. That's, you know that that's move? a good one. That's a whole Yeah, that's uh, that's certainly. That is a sad, sad yeah. move that I do a lot. I go, I got the salad, I got the veggies, but I'm going to get a quick burger and fries on the way home. This is the last one. But isn't that the most dangerous thing in the world to shop while you're hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the grocery store? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And you don't want to bring in performing enhancing drugs to it. You don't want to smoke pot and then go to the grocery store. Well, it's a whole no. new thing. What's, you know? the, uh, what's the limit on the bulk food aisle as far as eating as you're shopping? Is there... Well, you do that too, do you? Well, of course, you, you get your handful of yogurt, uh, yeah. yogurt peanut, uh, yogurt uh, pretzels, or whatever. Is that right? You sample the grapes before of you buy them. Well, yeah, sometimes yeah, they're fresh. You just pull fresh? donuts out of the case too. And <laughs> I've had a bagel, got wrapped in cream cheese. <laughs> Drink a bottle of wine in aisle three. <laughs> sir, sir, excuse me, sir. Now I am such a rule follower that I see like moms that will get like a pack of cookies and open them in the store to give to their kids and I like freak out. Like you can't do that till you pay for them. I mean, they pay when they, you know, when you, you get to you the cashier. You tell these people in the store you can't No, you can't but do it that? just, uh, it'll sit with me the whole day. I was like, oh my God, you can't do that. You I get that. You pay for those. You have got to lighten up. I know. You've got a long way to go with this attitude. <laughs> you're not going to make I it. I passed it on to one of my kids, too. She's uh, just like that. I don't know. Rule you, following. You've never been standing in the bulk aisle and go, huh, I wonder what those taste like. And go ahead and reach your paw down in there and grab a handful. And <laughs> I think as long as you're not <gasps> using a utensil, pretty much anything goes. If it's a, it's a finger food. If you no. don't, don't open boxes. Don't break seals. But with, you know, with a grape, grab a grape. If you, got they, some nuts. you can't grab a grape. No, they know can't. it. The people in the grocery store know it. It's called uh, loss. They, yeah, I, I know. They I understand they, they that account they... account for loss. Yes, they, they, they do plan a, for it. Right, they do account for that, but no. They have to account for it because there are dirt bags like, like you. guys, yeah. Grabbing grapes. <laughs> you know, there's some... And yogurt-covered pretzels. <laughs> when I, I'm a grape grabber, I gotta tell you. I'm when a I'm grape shop, grabber. <laughs> Oh, hello, Josh. Hello, Chicky Pie. Boy, if you think he makes people mad off the on the air, you should hear him off the air. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, what are you Cosby. doing? Hello, everyone. Hello, Willie. How Josh are you? is just ruffling feathers today, man. I don't know what he to is. say. He's stirring it up. He's the agitator. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I was excited that you guys were able to tweet your names out, get some. Uh, yeah, you know, brand Boy, recognition. You're really there. taking on fire there, Willie. I was looking at. It's it's only, it is only because of Chick McGee. If I have any following on social media for any means, it is only and always because of my friend Chick McGee. That's not true. That's at not all. true. You are a legend on the internet, my friend. Please, name please, a, please. Name another guy at your age from Ohio with a following <laughs> like you have. Well, you are killing it, man. Uh, Flippo the clown. No, he's oh. dead. Uh, <laughs> Flippo uh, died. Flippo died. What? Yeah, oh. that was a long time ago. We yeah, Chick away. was on Twitter before any of us. Oh, he was. That's right. I've he's been a, on and now sure. Party on, starter. I've been on so long, I don't really even participate anymore. Oh. So I, I'm just uh, I'm just on Twitter. It's rather passe, is it? That's right. <laughs> uh, Willie, uh, I've got 532 likes for you so far. That's 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 like my most liked tweet of all time. I, just I figured, your name. That's yeah. amazing. So frustrating for me uh -huh. as a joke writer. People are having fun. We've been talking grocery stores all morning. Yep. Chick uh, has admitted. That he will blatantly steal from a grocery store if he no. feels. Not only that, but if I have it in a while, I'll go and steal something. 
<laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> like now, you tend to steal things right, right in the open. You know, the bulk food, you'll just uh, reach into a bin, grab whatever you like. That's the uh, key, Josh. Hide in plain sight. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, other people uh, take grapes and stuff. Robert writes in. He says, I was listening. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, the most annoying thing I've seen, popcorn chicken and chicken wings. People get them from the uh, that, that the deli. deli container? Oh, the deli place, yes. yeah. And they walk through the store eating them and leave the remains on a shelf. <laughs> 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 Just chicken wing bones on shelves. Do they pay for it? Uh, presumably, but I, I haven't ever done that. But I'm going to. <laughs> and you're just going to leave your discarded bones wherever? That's the fun part. That's no. the best part Walk about going around. to the grocery no. store. First it well, first is they have everything at the grocery store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Secondly is, if you change your mind, it can go back anywhere in the grocery store. No. Oh, no. 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 You know what? It's I'm going to check on this one. Thank and you. You take, you take the wings from the deli section, and you go to the sauce section. You got a little ranch on one, chipotle ranch on the you're other. You're opening sauces. Blue cheese on the no, third, my not, friend. No, you're Little honey sriracha on the fourth. Who knows? The fifth, I'll try a dry rub. What are you doing with the bones? I'm throwing the bones in the... So container. now everybody else is shopping at Voodoo's Grocery Store. <laughs> Maybe. Santeria. Maybe. Going on. Boy, Thinking. it's just like you to naysay my little piece of heaven <laughs> to the grocery I store. I just don't want you to get in trouble. Well, which is worse, me shoplifting <laughs> every now and then or a morsel from the bulk food aisle or you whistling like a lunatic as you're walking <laughs> through the grocery store? Uh, spreading joy? People I'm go, there's <laughs> a happy man. I, I'd like to be happy, too. You whistle. Like they go, oh, listen to that song. I'd That's like nice. to be happy, too. I think I got it from my grandfather. He was a grocery store hummer, whistler. <laughs> What's he doing um, now? <laughs> grocery uh, store hummer. Probably, I bet he's not whistling. You, you've never had a grocery store hummer, Pat? <laughs> never. I want it's one. better than double oh, coupon day. <laughs> it's almost as good as <laughs> a me by the letters. <laughs> being a welding class. And, oh, so you hum, you'll sing in the grocery store? Yeah, yeah. So are you singing along to the radio, like, I'm like a bird, I want to Yeah, sometimes. Oh, it, otherwise, sometimes yeah. it's just free form. In the Asian mm -hmm. section, do you whistle while you walk? <laughs> walk. Whistle while you whistle walk. Like a like walk it. joke. W-O-K. Yes, that was a, a W-O-K. <laughs> oh, you got a Let's add an E to the end of that and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, dear, dear lunatics. Yes. Uh, you guys sound great this morning. Well, they must not be listening to. Anyway, I would tweet for you guys, but I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny. The hell? Lester says, I hope Chick's local grocery store puts a picture of him up <laughs> that, says, that says, Don't be this guy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That should be your goal. Not oh. only it would I let them do it for free. <laughs> yes. I would go have my picture taken in front of the picture. Don't be this guy. Oh, that you would be. You sort of looking surprised while holding like a half-eaten donut. Don't be, the, don't be this guy. It's just, it's chipped with his hand in a bowl yes. kind of container. Yes. yes, And it's grainy like it's a photo of Bigfoot. <laughs> and got his head turned around. Love it. Love it. <laughs> or you don't be in the... Yeah, I know. You would hate me in a grocery store. Kids, don't get near him. He's obviously not, mm. he's not uh, aware of his surroundings. My son yelled at me for taking a radish. Said, Daddy, that's stealing. And I haven't done it since. Oh, look at little Jimmy. He's I swear, just yeah. uh, You know, it is <laughs> tempting, though. However, on a summer day, walking uh, into a grocery store, you see those... Radishes. radishes. <laughs> I love, have to have one. I love radishes. Oh, boy. Just a dirty, bitter taste in your mouth. Uh, and you shop the store. Yeah. You know what I need? Is a nice, yeah. I wish I had a nice taste of dirt in my yeah, mouth. Boy, oh, boy. They never wash the radishes. Oh, those, they ever. don't. Those you radishes ever. sure are appetizing. No wonder I've been sick. Radishes should be out. Boy. Oh, turnips God. should be just out. eating a radish like a Ukrainian <laughs> widow. Just a like, what a I make soup. Let me tell you. Surrounded by the most delicious food. <laughs> if they didn't, if they put Still radishes, radishes, if they put you? radishes in the bulk food aisle, <laughs> I would not. I could eat a bag of radishes. Yeah. I swear, I love. Did, Pat, did you think in your brain? Well, this will be heartwarming. <laughs> I love radishes. Uh, I'm saying. You eat a bag of radishes? Oh, like, and, and it's that's yeah. like the bad oh, guy sure. in Die Hard or something. Yeah, you go to a movie, bro, oh, crack open that bag of radishes. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like the bad guy in Die Hard. What, what are you, a, a, are you a possum in a human suit? Mm. Oh, bad. Oh, they're like a radish and a large never... Diet Coke. <laughs>
Jeez. The bag is gone by the time I get home, I'll tell yeah. you that. Yeah. Oh, you oh, yeah. never you could have gone with anything else. But it was the truth. Fresh. I went with the truth. You, you wash it down with some apple cider vinegar oh, on God. ice? I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Take a radish here. <laughs> Remove those weird tendrily roots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> throw them on the floor. Yeah, you carry a pocket knife so you can... No, I bite them off with my teeth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. On the floor. Just to start me getting used to that dirt <laughs> feel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's why why oh. radishes? Did you eat them as a kid or something? <laughs> my mom made radish sandwiches with butter. They radish had, uh, it's sandwiches? It's like an imprint. Yeah. Jesus. That's, yeah. that's what it is. God, yeah. I thought I was poor. What oh, we were pretty poor. Yeah, my she lived in a hobo teacher. camp? What do you mean we weren't poor? I was joking. The grapes of rat. <laughs> uh, Christy, this kind of comes into it. I have a letter Wherever yes. they're eating radish sandwiches, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. It's the butter that makes it. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, anything with butter, I guess, makes it better. So I have... Speaking of that, today is National Salami Day. You guys like the salami? You ever take a hike with a big salami? That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. Right? You know, you sit, you go, maybe hike, uh, I don't know, a half mile, mile, sit down on a rock, have a bite of your salami. You <laughs> I've, know what? I've done that. A little oh. cheese, too. It's what it says right here. It's a great thing to take on a picnic. Just treat yourself. <laughs> Cut yeah. it into small cubes, maybe serve what it with a, a nice cheese. A, sure. this, is, this story brought you by the American Salami Institute. <laughs> I can tell you that right I away. I don't think I've ever had salami. Oh, you're missing out. You've totally had salami. Nice, I don't think so. Nice bet. hard salami. Well, that would explain not ripping ass, then, if you've never had salami. <laughs> salami. Have you ever played hide the salami? No. That is sex. <laughs> <laughs> I, have had, I have two children. I've had that. <laughs> you never have it on a charcuterie board or an Italian sandwich? I've never had it on a... Maybe on a, a board, but I've never, I've never purposely gone out and purchased salami. What's Love. the salami with, like, the hard black... Are, like things in them that you have to kind of pick out. Like, like you ever had that salami? Like, mm -hmm. Peppercorn or fennel? Uh, or maybe something? they are peppercorns, but uh, oh, I don't have care to for pick that. Pick them out. Yeah, you can, hey, 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 this is. Uh, <laughs> We've lost a... Chick. <laughs> did you, you say it was National Salami Day? I did. Why? What do you've got? What have you got? Uh, Josh, uh, you talk about salami and your "I'm so fat" song. Is that right? Oh, oh yeah. Put, uh, put the salami on. That's right. Oh. Yeah, right. we should hear. Take that. those panties off and put the salami on. Yes, that's right. Are we going to hear that today? Uh, do I, I, I don't, don't have see, a computer in front of me. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't see any need for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents... Smuggling the hiding the salami? Is that what's going on? In Texas. Okay. Well, I already <laughs> talked about hiding the salami. Yeah, where were you? <laughs> oh, I was... <laughs> so you can't get mad at us. <laughs> he said it briefly after he said that you checked out, I believe. In an upset, Mickey Sudo, M-I-K-I, Mickey Sudo. He's not really a Mickey. It's a girl. Isn't it? Yes. Edged the legendary Joey Chestnut over the weekend. She won the wings eating contest by eating 246 wings in 12 minutes. Oh, wow. Gosh. Chestnut finished with second with 244. Oh, that's close. Whoa. This is Very the close. National Chicken Wing Festival in Orchard Park, New York. How about that? Wow. There, that is way too many wings. That's... I've eaten like 40 wings before, and that's still so many. Man a lot. or woman or elephant or rhino? It's a 200. 12 minutes? 12 minutes. You had 40 wings in one sitting? Oh, yeah, you bet. How, over how, how long did you, would you Wait, say? An hour? This, they did 240 and 12. You don't think I could do 40? No, no, I think you can, but I, how, but you did. You weren't in a contest, though. So oh, no, yeah. Over how long? Uh, uh, probably about 30 minutes, I'd say. We got a big oh. party pan, and which went a little loco, me and the fellas. Yeah, I love I love chicken wings, but 20 is twenty is enough wings. 20 is too many. Are these things. drummies or are they flats? There's a lot of questions to be asked. <laughs> are they spun in any sauces? She said she uh, pre pre prefers flats. I, I flats have got to be easier to eat, I would mm. think. I have got to just suck them. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know. This is uh, the video of the wing eating contest. I don't know who that Adonis is and the uh, blonde hair with the uh, the brunette wig, the brunette beard. But I I'm rooting for that guy. <laughs> oh, dude, he's really mowing them down. He's yeah, yeah. Oh, there's you, some some. Uh, can you tell oh, if they're drummies or? Uh... I can't. There's, oh, that was hands, a drummy. That both. guy definitely oh, had that's one. Yeah, a drummy. There are both. Yeah. And then they're doing the flat technique that I do. Yeah, where you push it down. You suck, suck it off. Suck it off. <laughs> push it down and suck All it. All right. If you okay. take the meat. I think that's a two life crew song. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> what are you doing over there, Willie? Hiding the salami, huh? Salami. <laughs> so so fat. I'm so so fat. <laughs> I am the fattest. I am. Nobody's <laughs> fatter than me. <laughs> Nobody's got a good face. All I do, I eat jerkin' jerkin' meat. <laughs> <laughs> jerkin' meat.
Take them panties off and put the salami on. There it is. There, there it is. Oh. Ah, happy National Salami Still Day. Fun. All right. Maybe I'll try some salami today. Yeah, enjoy it. I don't know. Spicy cured meat. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the cured meats. Are you? Oh, yeah. Salami. Get your cholesterol checked a lot. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I'm young still. I'll probably have to check out it when I'm older. But yeah, salami, uh, prosciutto. Eight, you're 28. Your cholesterol's not... Well, I don't know. Maybe you should get your cholesterol. I went to the doctor, told me my blood pressure, shockingly low for my weight. So pretty good news for the for the kid there. Oh, okay. Good news. Did the happy. doctor say this is really low considering your weight? Yeah, looked at the chart and everything goes, geez, this shouldn't be. Oh, no, yeah, no, this is right. This is right, yeah. A doctor once told me, you don't have diabetes somehow. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky man. Wow. Oh, thanks, doc. I hope, you, I hope you found a new doctor. That's not considered a uh, very good bedside manner, no, is it? I think, it, you know what, it, it, it shook me a little bit, so I went, okay, I need to I need to behave. You don't have diabetes somehow is the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not say to you. Well, you've checked all the boxes, but... Uh, oh, man. Yeah, just, just yelling to the nurses, get in here, come check this guy out, no diabetes, <laughs> can't believe it. And then, I, I, actually, this is the same doctor who the next time I saw him, said, the first thing he said to me was, well, I see we didn't make any of those lifestyle changes we discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I did eventually stop seeing him. Good. <laughs> you stopped? No, that's the guy you want to go to. That's the guy that gives it to you straight. Yeah. Mm. But I, that, every time I called after that, I went, can I see the nurse practitioner instead? <laughs> and she was far more... Uh, Attractive? Yes, but she was also... Um, nicer. Nice, nicer Hanger. and, uh, yeah. More delicate. Okay. She would suggest that uh, I'm a we I'm a, I'm a, I don't know what this is says about me, but I I um, can respond to suggestion much more than I can orders. Sure. You know what I'm, so and the doctor was ordering me. She was making suggestions, and I did much better with that. Uh, I see. Yeah. I haven't checked out. I'm just uh, amazed you're not diabetic. I don't. <laughs> We got to run. We got to run through some of my favorite fantasy football team names out there to oh, close it up. Okay. Uh, these are. I put it up on All Pro Lines. I got some suggestions from people. These are some of their team names. Golf to a rough start. All right. That's good. Uh, baby got Dak. Uh, far of dollar foot long. You know. I love far of dollar foot long. That is very funny. Uh, this is a new one this year. The, for this year, Karen Rogers. That makes me giggle. Oh, yeah. Good. And then there's some you got to be careful how you say them. My nut Zach Ertz. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. My yeah. nut Zach Ertz. Boy, that's a good Stro one. Yep. Yeah. Stroking Mike Ditka. Yes. Um, oh. Touchdown my pants. <laughs> Big Ben Dovers. The Tittsburg Feelers. That's a classic. Right? Well, that is a classic. Well, well. Let me tell you something. Yeah. That, that always Haywood, makes me laugh. Haywood, Jablow me. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. You got to oh, okay. sure, sure. show me your TDs. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, liquid paper. Oh, it it looks like he was sniffing the white out. Uh, Boy, hey, everybody. White hey. shirt. Holy heck. How it's, are you? That's it's great. I'm Jeff Oske with the Failed Dimension News Desk. Yes, sir. Hi, Jeff. Uh, last week, my intro was a bit long. Yeah. Uh, I think it clocked in right around three minutes. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, we give uh, Christy gives you the news every week, but sometimes uh, we don't give you all the news. So I'm here to give you the news. Now, here's Jeff Oskay with what you failed to mention, news. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. Nice. A judge has ordered a mother and father in Michigan to repay their son $30,000 for throwing out his vintage porn collection. Yep. Yeah. What you failed to mention, the judge has ordered the son to repay his parents $40,000 for all the socks he has ruined for years. <laughs> Norway says it will find people who urinate on the Russian border. What you failed to mention, isn't it refreshing to hear about other countries having border issues? <laughs> hey! oh, a little political there, everybody. Oh, a 19-year-old was busted with four ounces of marijuana after officers noticed a large bulge under the teen's shirt. What you failed to mention, dude, come on, two words, cargo shorts. <laughs> we don't wear them because they're stylish. <laughs> exactly right. Jeff Bezos. Is <laughs> yeah, you got just well, right? Yeah, I think I got that right. <laughs> Phallic Space Rocket goes on sale for $69 in scale model form. What you failed to mention, 
<laughs> to accomplish the same task for five bucks, you could just get a cucumber and a rubber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I like the way you deliver that. Your face looked like you were reading it for the first time. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. A school in Kentucky has kids dressing and acting like kitty cats. What you failed to mention, that must be one gargantuan litter box. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just disgusting. <laughs> People are being sold wild mushrooms that have actually been grown by farms. What you failed to mention, I don't care who grew them as long as I trip balls. Yeah. <laughs> that is what they call that, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Tripping balls. Yes. China will begin to limit children to three hours of online gaming a week. What you failed to mention, if three hours seems like a small number, it's still one more than the number of children they're actually allowed to have. <laughs> What you also failed to mention, online gaming is not the only thing that they put limits on. The Chinese government has stated it will limit grown men to three hours of weird, blurry penis porn online. That's right. That's right. All right. I almost got that up. That's the government stepped in. The world's oldest man has passed away at the age of 113. What you failed to mention, none of his children or grandchildren will be getting his estate because they all died ages ago. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey. oh. Due to a popular demand, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Ice Cream will soon be back on sale. What you failed to mention, enjoy your nighttime diarrhea, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. The Girl Scouts of the U.S. have announced a new brownie-inspired cookie that will join its national lineup for the 2022 Girl Scout season. What you failed to mention, hear that, Boy Scouts? They got a new cookie, and you guys are still trying to sell me corn like it's 1817. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> a study said that 14% of men wanted their wanted more sexual interest from their partners. What you failed to mention, 99.9% .9 of women said they want their men to show any interest in their hobbies. Goals, desires, needs, <laughs> wants, worries, wishes, opinions, thoughts, ambitions. Uh, the, least, the list keeps going. <laughs> sure. But honestly, who cares? Uh, oh. True. Serial time waster David Rush broke the world record for walking the farthest distance while balancing a baseball bat on his chin. Yes. Mm. What well, you failed to mention, the last time I saw... Someone with a bat on their chin. I was at a restaurant in Wuhan, China. There, you go. there it is. There he is. Hey! <laughs> and finally, Josh Arnold will be performing at the Liberty Bone Funny Bone, the Liberty Funny Bone, the Cincinnati this Saturday and Sunday. At least get the plug right. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, try that one again. And finally, Josh Arnold will be performing at the Liberty Funny Bone in Cincinnati this Saturday and Sunday. What you failed to mention, hey, I'll be there too, and I'm way beardier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Oh, if you're going to come to a show, uh, come come to Sunday's show, though. Uh, Monday, first show, I'm going to be rusty. Uh, second show, I'm going to be hammered. And uh, third show, I should be good to go. So right. I'll see you Sunday. This has been Jeff Oske. Thank you, Jeff. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.